This is part 10 of modeling the interrogation room and this is where we left off. Last time I had modeled or blocked out a lamp here and some boxes and this outlet and I think I'm actually going to stick with this lamp and just just move on right here and show you a couple of things. So yeah, let's do this. Let's just isolate that thing there. And I'm going to come in and give this some thickness. And I'm just going to do by E and Alt S and I'm going to pull and pull it in like that. And go with that, I think. Let's see. How about if I um, Alt S this? Just a little bit more and do that. And then take this piece. We're never going to see this really. I think I'll do that. And then I'm going to come in here and bevel this. We'll just do one there. Again, it's not really going to be visible, but I'll do that anyhow. So I'll have that. I just want to look at some of this and decide if uh, I'll put that back in. Yeah, so let's look over here at this for a second here. Yeah, okay, we need that. All right, and um, just turn that off for a moment. Let's take these edges here. We'll just do that. There's a chance that I might put a subdivision on there. I probably would. I like that shape. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to bring my 3D cursor there and make this sort of... Um, Oh, some wire-like stuff there. I'm uh, bringing a cylinder and 18 may be just fine for what I want to do. I'm going to select here, control B and pull. Roll up like that. I want, I want a small opening here. I'm going to control I and uh, Get rid of those pull that up but I'm going to flatten this a bit and scale it and what I want is a row here and then I'm going to extrude up straight and I want another row and I'm going to scale in the Z scale it out a bit I'm going to start with that and I'll show you what I'm going to do hopefully that opening is not too big but it is a bit big, isn't it? Well, I'll show you what I'm going to do anyhow. I'm going to select these edges here. I'm going to press Control I, X edges, and I'll be left with that. And that's what I, I want here. Now, I'm going to convert these to a curve, and then I'm going to bring up the bevel depth. Just a little bit and control one to uh, smooth them a bit maybe even a bit more than that and it's going to go like that roughly okay and then i'm going to look from the front or the side and I'm going to bring in a curve path. And I'm going to drag it down so that the first point kind of intersects with this. And take the second point, put it there. The next point, put it there. The next point there. And the last point up here. And then I'm going to find, so on 0.3 on there. So I'm going to put 0.3 on there. And then we're going to manipulate this so that it sort of intersects right about there, depending on how you want your attachment to be. Okay, let's look from the bottom. My 3D cursor is right there. So 
I'm going to shift the rotate Z 180 degrees. And we'll join those. Shift D rotate Z90. And the Shift D rotate Z45. And the Shift D rotate Z90. And then I just have to decide if I like that shape. If it's okay. And hopefully it is. Join those. We'll join those. So that's what I've got, and I'm going to, I guess, I'll put on my subdivision again for that. And then what I thought I would do was, um, I think I will bring a 3D cursor right about there. Is that at the front or is at the back? Eh? Okay, either way. I'm gonna bring in a circle. This is such a small detail, I don't even know if it's if it's useful to do. Or if it's overkill. But I do tend to do that anyhow. Rotate Y90. from the side and I'm going to get rid of these back vertices pull this in I'm just looking for some kind of a clip I'm gonna scale this in the Y to hold these to the to the main main other part of the lamp so I'll just do this and see E and SZ and then extrude it out down a little bit okay let's uh, recopy it outside any polys I need to okay and then I'm going to E and Alt S and I'm going I'm going to pull actually push like that I'm going to take this edge here and this edge here and control B to bevel just smooth that out a little bit it's not overly smooth but it's not going to be very big I'm going to bevel this a little bit Say just one, and this, and this. And I'll shade smooth. Um, let's make sure we're not okay. So this is what I've got, right? No, it's not going to go there. Um, what I'm thinking is, let's take something. Set and takes. I put take the whole lamp. 3D cursor there and take this and let's set the origin to the 3D it's the origin of 3D cursor and then rotate Z 22.5 so it goes there so I bring that down a little bit more I bring this down a little bit more and I take this I'm going to scale this in the Z and there we go so I don't think you'll ever even see that so not much I can do about that no yeah. maybe make it a bit bigger okay so with that done I will now I'll go back to global Shift D rotate Z 180. Okay. I'm going to join those. Shift D rotate Z 90. Shift D rotate Z 45. Shift D rotate Z 90. And we'll see if we like this at all. Let's make sure. Okay, the lamp itself needs to be flipped. All right, so we've got that. And the last thing I need to do on here, I guess for the moment, is the bulb. And we'll just use a cylinder. 18 is okay. 
and there's lots of different shape bulbs so you can do pretty much what you want so i'll come in here and i will bevel this come down to a nice small point do something like that focus just on the bulb itself and all right everybody go get rid of that scale shift Z that's just gonna have an emission on it probably and you'll probably only see it something like that and that's probably good enough don't have to do the socket or any other aspect of it so that is the lamp itself Okay, and that brings us to the socket over here. So let's have a look at this and see if I can quickly do this part here. I'm going to select this front face here. And I'm simply going to do this circularly, i.e. with circles. I'll go for 22 vertices, not too many, not too small. Okay, let's extrude out, take this and push it in, shift D, bring that down, I think I'll take both of them, turn on individual origins and make them smaller, something like that, no I'm going to make them bigger, to accentuate them, okay, alright let's see. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take the main body to do a Boolean difference. I'm going to select those. I don't need those anymore. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to select these, and I'm going to get rid of them. Now, um, I'm going to change some of these edges here. I don't like them there. I'm going to select this middle one we'll come to there press J and this middle one and this one and press J and I'm gonna come in here and I should be able to dissolve these now and I am able to dissolve them all right and now I'm gonna see how well I can bevel this and this control B with a few segments in there it's not overly smooth but it doesn't really have to be but of course I haven't smoothed it yet and so we'll put on weighted normal and normals auto smooth all right so we'll have that and then in behind I'm going to put a plane rotate x90 I'm going to do some simple um, sort of socket inputs. Okay, edge loop, control B, let's see, something like this, top and bottom. Just, I'm going to get started here, then I can move some stuff around. Let's go into wireframe and box select this stuff. We'll come back and just just get it similar. It's not a big problem really. It's such such a small detail. Rarely ever going to see this. But still, you know, I'll take that one. Eh, I really should probably be doing it this way. This one and this one.
this one, and this one. That's it. Make sure I'm in medium point. All right, let's say we had something like that there. Okay, I'm going to select the edges here. I can, I can really get rid of some of these edges as well. Uh, that one, anything else? No, let's just do that. Okay, take these. I'm going to extrude back. And let's see if I can just straight ahead use the bevel modifier. And with that, I might switch to arc. Okay, that idea. Take this and copy it down to here as well. And then just decide if you want to close it off or not. Those are looking a little wide actually, so I'm going to do a little bit of work to fix that up. I think I went overboard a bit. There we go. I think in reality, I probably would want to widen this out. So I'm going to scale shift Z. Not there yet. Shift Z. Just make it a bit more visible. It's not going to be that much more visible, but so there it is, and I'll extend this up. So there we go. So there's that thing. Might copy it over to here as well. I'm gonna get rid of this guy at this point. So we got the lamp and the electrical, and we are moving on. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now, and we'll come back and do a bit more. Thanks for watching.